this is the review and unboxing of the Blink XD camera. This is the camera, and this is the sync module. If you already have the sync module from the previous Blink cameras, you don't need to buy this. I bought both of them because I never got a Blink camera ever before. So I just got the sync module. This basically makes this camera, this camera, wireless. And I thought it was um, pretty cool. So I got both of them on Amazon. It wasn't the most expensive thing I've ever bought. It was only like 129 or something. Since I don't have a dog, I got this. Um, I thought it was pretty necessary. Sometimes I just hear people knocking on the freaking door. And then when I open the door, they're gone. They're either ding-dong ditching me or something's going on. So, let's open it up. I don't have one of those fancy knives like the other unboxing people. So I'm going to use a scissor and cut this open. It, it's very easy to open. Here is this. Alright. So, after unboxing these two, let's slide them right out. This is the Blink XT camera. And next to it, which slides right out, is the sync module. As you can see, they're way smaller than like a Nest camera or anything like that. You got the instructions of the Blink camera. It basically tells you how to set up step by step. You know, you, you have to plug the sync module into the um, outlet and then you connect those two in order to connect this to this in order to make this wireless. So let's open this up. So I'm guessing you're just pulling up. Ooh, it's in like this nice foam thing. And it goes right out. It looks similar to the Apple TV. And then inside the box there's some other stuff. You get the wall plug, the USB cable. Overall, this is pretty small and lightweight. I'm loving the design. Good job, Blink, with that. Next, you have the camera. Pull camera and shell from box. So, you pull it? Oh, alright. Pull out this tab and lift. Pull out what? Oh, this tab. And then lift. And then this is how you get the camera out. This is really good. And inside here, you get two AA batteries. And I heard that these batteries actually last two years. We'll see about that. Here you got the mount if you want to mount, mount this thing onto a wall or something. I am going to be mountain, mounting mine onto the wall outside so you get one screw right here and this is really like cool like the quality is really good and let's see let's connect them now and if you want this camera you better get the app it's called blink and I'm using an iPhone so I'm gonna add a sync module and I have to Put my sync module serial number in and do what it says. So I'm going to do it right now. Setting up is quite simple. All you need to do is um, put in your serial number for this camera. I mean, the sync module is on the back. And now it it basically gives you step-by-step -step, um, instructions. And it's very simple. And I love it. So now I have to plug this sync module in. It's very easy. Just plug it in like this. And then get this and plug it in as well. Now I'm going to go find an outlet. After you plug this in for 30 seconds, it's going to be green on the bottom and then flashing blue on the top. Just like what it says in the instructions. So when it does that, you got to click yes. Then you have to connect your Wi-Fi to the blink. So after you put your Wi-Fi in and all that, follow the instructions, and then you're good. So the next step is, once your sync module is set up, add a Blink device. 
So you can choose anything you want. In my case, it's the Blink XT camera. After you begin, you'll need your device serial number. So now you read the instructions of this. Now put in your AA batteries. You should go in there nice and tight. And you're ready to go. So it's blinking red. After it finds your camera, make a name for it. Mine is going to be front door. And then click done. And you're good. Now this thing is finally connected. Right here. You can click this to see what it's watch watching right now. It's literally just, you know. It's All right. So you can close that to, if you don't want to hear the audio, but it's live. Here, if you click the camera button, it will take a picture of what it was seeing that in that frame. So it will basically take a photo of that. If you arm it, it's going to start recording. And here is, you can see all the Wi-Fi stuff. I just clicked arm. And here is what it recorded. So I was moving. And I noticed that there was movement. So we started recording. And boom. Click that to watch it. Click this to live view. Click this to get it like a thumbnail for this thing. And click here to add another device. For this, you got to put it in a good place. You don't want to put it somewhere... That will get unplugged easily, so find a good place in your office or at home, in your bedroom, wherever you can access it, put it there. And make sure it doesn't get broken, because this thing is very important to the camera. So if you accidentally unplug it, it's going to keep loading until you plug it in. See? A lot of you failed, because you can't watch it when it's unplugged. So make sure it's plugged in. And I'll also say offline. If you need to um, quickly unplug and move it to a new location, do it. It won't break. So once it's connected to the server, you just have to wait a few minutes after you plug it in into the new location. You just wait, like, I don't know, one minute. And it should be good. So now it's online again. And you can see what it's seeing. Alright, guys. So here's the thing. It comes with this thingy. And a screw. The screw isn't in there it's by itself in a plastic bag, as you guys saw earlier. I just put it in here. And this thing, attaching to the XD um, security camera, is very easy, actually. All you do is like, just, like, you know, do a little push, and it's in. See? Now it's good. I just have to mount that. I'm going to put the camera right up here. Right there. And right now, it's it's raining a little bit. But look how outside is super beautiful. So it's supposed to look at the driveway and the front door. So yeah. Yo, guys, I just got a drill. It was like $10 from Walmart. It's a charging one. But now, it's working. So I'll be drilling the quick release plate into the wall. And before that, I have to, so I'm going to put it on the wall, and after that, I'll attach the camera to it, and then adjust it. Even if you're, you're already attached, like, let's say you're already attached, you still can move this thing. It's still movable. So, I'm going to do it right now. I've... Button that down. Mm -hmm. Now you guys can see, you can see the driveway and the front part. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this video inspired you to get this because I actually love it right so far. It's pretty awesome. And alright, guys, see ya in the next video.